super special shout out to all my tier 3 members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Zli Wanderer, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, and Yushika Bay for their amazing support. All of the walkers mode. So, um, yeah, as you guys can see, it's almost the morning of day 4. Uh, like 4 o'clock in the morning. And I actually went and I did a little bit of a food quest. So you guys can see, I actually now have 8,000 tokens. Remember, every quest you complete basically get like 1,000 or 1,050 or whatever food. Um, I do need to make a red, uh, what, red tea, goldenrod, and coffee, but I don't have coffee beans, and I think that's the only one I don't have right now. Uh, yeah, we need to finish these as soon as possible, all these quests. Because apparently the payoff for them is actually really good. Craft handlebars, let me just see this. Handlebars, please tell me I can make it on me. It looks like it. Okay, uh, we need duct tape, leather, mechanical parts. I think we should actually have all of this stuff. Oh, but we don't have enough springs. Uh, do we have a wrench or something? If I had a wrench, we could actually just wrench this place. No, we don't. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is at the trader, I need to hand in this quest that I did last time. And we need to see if we can't buy some stuff. Uh, what we need now, obviously, is the wrench. And then also, I need more antibiotics. Unfortunately, I drank the last honey and I'm still at 10.1%. So that's bad. We need to be able to heal ourselves. Also, apparently in this mod, to get better quality tools and stuff, you need to go for crafting skill handguns. So, for example, say I want the knife to be a better quality. Then I have to go for bladed weapons over here. Oh, no, this one. So I have to invest points in this to get my crafting quality higher. You can actually see it. It's craft quality. And I just saw this in the main menu. Level 25. I'm two levels away. Okay, but yeah, I was doing a little bit of food crafting uh it's over here so now we have some grilled meats basically i didn't do the grill quest i did the cook quest but not the grill uh so i need to do that the handlebars i need to make springs short iron pipes let me just see what i need because a trader might actually have the rest springs short iron pipe and then duct tape duct tape duct tape we do have glue over here okay so if i can make myself a bicycle quickly it's gonna help us tremendously i just really really hope the traders finally have some healing for us because guys uh, being infected like this sucks your max wellness and everything just keeps going down i don't think the trader closes at all because it doesn't say trader now closing trader now opening it just it doesn't do any of that okay let's see you inventory Please, 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 please have what I need right now. Nope. Okay, so we go honey. Nope. We go anti. Nope. Please tell me the lady that says she has drugs but never has drugs has drugs. Also, repair kits, guys. We're going to have to buy these. It is a pain to make these repair kits. I had to make a repair kit for my fire axe. And the amount of stuff you have to make. Just to make the repair kit uh, ingredients is... Uh, I'm going to show you guys Alrighty this. Then, on your way. Repair. Armor. You need to have... Okay, so the armor is easy. Duct tape, cloth, and leather. Tool. You need the handle as well. And you need five forged iron for one repair kit. So, but the handle already is also a ton of resources they have to make the handle with. Look at this. So you have to make a handle... You may have to make a resource part of it. It's just... It's a lot of work. It's a lot of grind. So I'm going to have to get used to all the skills and stuff in this mod as soon as possible. Okay, um, I'm looking for resources. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, we need this. Ooh, double barrel shotgun. That is 5.1. It's, it's two shots, though, compared to the one shot in this thing. So at the sooner we actually have, like, a double barrel or something, the better. But for now, let me just first see. Do you have anything else we need? I need short iron pipes, and I need... Springs. Okay, unfortunately, we're gonna have to go and just loot then. Turn to trader. Which one? Hello, Get him over Tyler. there. What's ailing you? Please, 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 please. No, she never has it for some reason. Building and crafting 1.5. 20% experience card. What's this? Duration 30 minutes. You get 20% more XP. I think that's more for late game, right? Otherwise, that's gonna be a waste right now. But she never has drugs. She's supposed well, to be able to sell dog. steroids she and healing to you. Okay, so for him, let's see. Um, I'm using nine more right now, so we'll take the. No, 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 no. We have the pipe machine gun, so I'll take this. Any more jobs? Please to the north. Yes. But it's a buried supplies. How long am I going to have to dig? The thing is, our buried supplies. Yeah, we, we can't dig that fast or that much at the moment. 
thing. Let's go clear some zombies. I want to explore the town as well, so the more we explore, the better. Oh, also, do you have a wrench? Please tell me you have a wrench. Okay, weapons and ammo, resources, food and cooking, armor, mods, all. Let's go for all. Wrench? No. Uh, what else? Uh, what's the other one? Ratchet? No. Okay, this side of here. Wrench? No. Ratchet? None of those. Damn it. Okay, that's a shame. I want to be able to wrench a few things as well. The sooner I can wrench a little bit, the better. Oh, bicycle, 7.5. Uh, we have to craft our own anyways for a quest. So I don't I don't think it's going to be a good thing to waste my cash on that. I'm so tempted to do it, but I don't think that's going to be a smart decision. So for now, I'm going to buy the double barrel. I know it's expensive, but at least now we have a proper shotgun. And with the rest of the cash, I'm just going to buy myself some more ammo. Because that shotgun's going to be way better than this shotgun over here. Okay. Thank God you're done browsing. Next time I'll charge you for that. Is that so? Okay, W, let's just take this off, put it on this one if we can. Yes, okay. And so it's basically this thing's spread is big. So this one's just gonna focus a little bit more like a normal shotgun. And then this one's almost worn out. I need a repair kit for a tool, but once again, it's gonna be expensive to make. Oh, do you have forged iron? Nope. The hitbox on this dude is a little bit off though, because I keep struggling to interact with him. Resources, no forge iron, right? Damn it. Oh, okay, so let's get going. Else? Um, We need to make sure we go do some quests over here. I think let's go for this one and then over here, because we haven't scouted that side yet. I'm actually looking for more of this mod's pure eyes. So far, we've only seen like vanilla pure eyes. I want to see this mod's pure eyes as well. I think it's going to be fun and it's going to have a little bit of a twist to loot. Guys, we need to heal this infection as soon as possible. We're going to get back to 20. I think you can actually kill that bird. Um, you, uh, We need to get back to 0% because at the moment we're going to hit 20 again really, really fast. Okay, we're going to put the shotgun away for now. Okay, no, uh, this is... Do I have any other mods? Okay, basically, this is mods. Tube extender. To a pump shotgun to increase the magazine capacity by 6. Damn! I mean, I wish I had the other, other shotgun. Yeah, but we do have an iron shovel, guys. But uh, the problem right now is going to be the fact that we're going to have to dig and dig and dig. And I'm afraid we're going to run out of stamina before we even use it. So for now, hopefully this stuff is all we really need to survive. Make sure we have nothing else over here. And then also probably just drop this. All I need right now is 9 more ammo. The 9 more, uh, the, this pistol over here, and then the shotgun. The shotgun's going to actually help us in a pinch. Yeah, look, this eagle. You can kill it for food. But as long as it doesn't attack me, I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, um, damn, if I only had a wrench. Hopefully when we're out and about like this, we come across a wrench. And I should probably make sure we have coffee and stuff as well. But if I can get a wrench, we can just wrench all the beds and stuff inside this PRI and we should be set. Food, let's just make sure we're full. And then what gives stamina? Stamina regen, duration is three minutes. Okay, that's basically like a coffee. Unfortunately, as you guys can see, I've used up all the coffee on me, so I can't even do that anymore. Uh, we need to go that direction. I actually need to make myself a way down over here. I, I can't afford to break my leg every time I try and jump down on something. Okay, so we need to go there. Yes, let's go. I need to make sure that we don't come across a wolf, but at least with this shotgun, we should be able to do something. Guys, also, if we have a wrench, we can uh, wrench all of the workbenches inside this P.I. So the sooner we actually get that wrench, the better. I need to be careful. Sometimes they spawn in so that... Also, um, you can talk to these guys and hire them. You, you can say, I'm, I want to hire you, and they actually help you clear out your eyes. The only problem is, it is a little bit expensive, if I'm not mistaken. So you need to be careful that you don't waste too much cash on these guys. If it's not a, like, a level 4 or difficult for your eye, then don't waste the cash. I think you only have them for like a few minutes or something. Okay, that shotgun place over there, I'm actually curious to go loot. Because it might actually just give us some proper guns. The only problem is our loot stage is still super low. So I'm just afraid that if we go for that now... I wonder, can you get wheels? Um, I'm afraid if we go for that place now, we're not going to get anything of value from it. I'm guessing we have to craft our own wheels. Ooh, please, 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 please. I wonder if these actually do still drop honey, these stumps. 
Because so far, I haven't gotten a single piece of honey or jar of honey from either of these or any of these. Just wooden XP. And that's like the fourth one that I've broken so far. I'm actually curious to see whether there's bees in this game as well. If there are bees, then we'll be able to just kill them for some honey. One bee, like in Darkest Falls, gives you two honey jars if you skin it right. So if we can get lucky and get that much honey, oh, we'll be set. It seems we have already been this far out, so we need to be careful. Uh, also, when we come across... I should probably grab the potatoes. But if we come across any aloe vera, we need to grab it like this. Uh, we need this for the one quest, and I haven't finished it yet. Every single time I run past aloe vera, and that's about it. Oh, this place again. Is this the quest? Yes, okay, it's the gas station again. See, that's why you should actually grab all the resources that are here. Because now we're going to loot this place again, so the zombies are going to respawn. Let me just quickly do this. 60 stone, not bad, not bad. The more stone we have, we might actually be able to make ourselves like a cobble defense or something. Okay, now these zombies are going to respawn, and this is a what quest. Clear again. I just need to make sure there's no dogs on the side. Yep, there's a dog. Good thing I checked. Um, let me do this. Iron arrow. Boom. There you go. If I can save some time by clearing out this final room, then we just have to focus on the other room inside over there. I want to stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Boom. I love the fact that you can see in over here. It saves you a lot of time. Okay, so what? Two power attacks and one left click. Although that is a waste of stamina because I am out. If something attacks you when you're out of stamina, that is the worst way to die. Okay, I just have this feeling. Every time I come across here, I move slowly because I feel like there's going to be a dog at the back of here. Even though we just basically passed it, <laughs> I'm not going to take any chances. Okay, come on, I need honey. Hello. Oh, that gave me a fry just now. I need to bleed them. And then move back before I can die. Okay, so it says return to trader, which means this place is now clear. And once again, there is a weapons bag on top, so we need to go for that as well. Come on, I don't need tea. I need honey. Honey or any kind of antibiotic. That will be so damn awesome right now. It's a shame you can't make your own honey. Not bad. Wait, what quality was that just now? Isn't that a really good quality? I have no idea what the colors in this mod means. So I have no idea whether that was a good one or bad one just now. It's nice that the weapon skills and everything goes up as you use the items. Okay, one more attack. Two power attacks should do the trick. I need to make sure that when I do stuff like that, repair kit vehicle. Nice. Uh, I need to make sure that when I do use power attacks, greater blade, um, that I close the doors behind me because just now I run out of stamina and then something attacks. Oh, this is going to bleed them nicely now. This is going to be a nice one. Okay, so uh, food, we need to make sure we are full on food and drink. Water is actually getting low, but... Ooh, we have coffee. Nice. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I want to make sure that I, I close the slots a little bit off. Okay, it says return to trader. Now, next quest is going to be where? Guys, the only reason I'm focusing so much on quests in this mod is the fact that I want to explore and get some resources and stuff. Um, I think even if it's just a fetch quest, we need to clear out the whole POI. Because that's the best way for us to get a ton of resources. And also, perhaps, who knows? Perhaps we get lucky and we get a wrench as well. I need a wrench. Oh, this place is actually a really good place to loot. There's books inside. I'm trying to think what else. I know there's a secret stash inside this place. There's a ton of books in there. Is it going to be worth going in there now, though? I want to be very, very careful which pure eyes I go for and which I leave right now. Okay, there's a ton of dogs in this place. You need to be careful. Doggies are going to wake up. Okay, I could just throw one grenade in between them. That should do the trick. That's if I actually hit this. 
Oh no, that was a bad shot. Still, someone's still alive. Hello, female stripper. I need to work on my aim as well. Sometimes I feel my aim can have some... Oh, there's a final stash on top of there. I think it's on that side. If we can get the final stash right now, that's definitely going to come in handy. If I see a pure iron, we can reach the final stash, guys. We're going to go for it immediately. It's either on that roof or on this one over here. Oops. Or inside the roof itself. Hammer. Come on. I need healing. Please tell me all the dogs over here are dead. I want to make sure that when we kill stuff like this, we grab the bones. Just now we need some duct tape and stuff. Especially since we know this mod can get a little bit grindy. And you need a ton of stuff to make a ton of stuff. Again, my HP is not looking too good. The nice thing is we do have a ton of red bandages. So all I need to do is make sure every now and then I just take one. And that should help tremendously. Okay, rim guys, Feral Sense is on and we're getting close to the middle of the town. As soon as you get close to the middle of the city like this, this is when the zombies usually start coming out of the woodwork. Please tell me I was right and the final stash is over here. If it is, we can get some fire secret stash just like that. I do need... Come on. I do need to actually get myself a few lockpicks. At this stage, we don't have any lockpicks and that's going to get us later. Okay, it's not over here. Which side is it again? Oh, okay. Um... I need to kill that spider. Okay, spider's dead. I want to quickly get the final stash, but I can't remember where in this place the stash is. Hello, vulture. Okay, now there's a dog in the vulture. I think the vulture is more worth to get right now. Can I reach? Okay, I need to jump on top of here when I'm done with this vulture. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Please tell me this is the only vulture. Okay, so that was a good idea, John. That was a really good idea. It seems these are the only zombies up here, so I should be relatively safe. Yeah, and then save some ammo. Save some ammo. Save some Ooh, you still have full HP, damn. Let's see, if we can grab final stashes like this, it might actually have some really good loot in it for us. Okay, so it's the middle building. I need to remember this for next time, if I want to get this place again. Middle building. The only problem is, once again... We don't have breaching rounds, we don't have lockpicks, I'm gonna have to break through this thing manually. And if the loot inside isn't worth it, then I wasted my time just now. I wonder if the zombies from down below can actually get up here to me right now. Or do they need to go through and up and over there? Please, 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 frames, cubes, what's this? Sealed clothing store. Ah, I don't think this is gonna be good. No, not good. Okay, so, uh, please give me a wrench. Please, please, please give me a wrench. Oh, damn it. I need a wrench. Repair kit, vehicle. Why do we keep getting vehicle repair kits? Now, the problem is, this thing is very close to breaking, and we don't have any repair kits for this. Uh, I wonder if I shouldn't just mark this as... Okay, I'm going to do this. So I know exactly where it is. Don't fall, don't fall. And I'm going to mark this as... Test. Uh, save waypoint. Wait, what? Whoa, this is a lot. This is actually a lot. Um, which one can I choose? Which one can I choose? It doesn't say what it's... I, I wish there was like a wording for it so you know exactly what kind of word. I mean, what does this mean? Just food. Resources. Uh, let's do... This and just say... Loot. Uh, ch chest. When it says a chest like that, we know, okay, we couldn't open it up. We need lockpicks or something. I'm definitely going to have to come back here just to go to grab that, but it's going to be worth it. If I can manage to get some awesome loot inside of it, why not? At least we got some XP and stuff for killing those zombies just now, so it's not too bad. Yeah, bone shove, water. Oh, was that just a coffee bean or coffee seed? I might be able to make coffee now. 
Okay, now we just have to keep on going to that red marker. Um, I need to make sure that my frames are always accessible so we can just jump up and away. And make sure we don't get the click of death right there. I hate it when I try and shoot and I just can't. Look, I'm going to have to be careful. If I use a grenade right now... Hello? Um, if I use a grenade right now, then there's a big chance of this whole town coming for me. Hello? You be careful of stamina. If I can find another trader right now, that's going to help me greatly. Because this at this stage, I don't know if we're going to get another honey or antibiotics or something. Oh crap, you know what? I know that's going to attract a lot of attention, but for now, we need to go. I wonder if I shouldn't just drink this coffee right now. Especially since my stamina is super duper low right now. Oh, another one of these. Did the vultures just wake up? Okay, um... Ooh, there's loot bag over there. I think it killed the vultures just now, nice. Okay, we need to be careful. Um, it's a good thing I just noticed that vulture in time. But now I just called more zombies to me. Oh, did I just... Wait, there was a loot bag here, wasn't there? I could have sworn, unless that was just another vulture hunched over and that looked like loot bag. Okay, I thought I was being clever, but I wasn't. Damn. Let's keep going then. I want to make sure we get a few awesome pure eyes we can loot as well. What's this? I think this is uh, new to the mod. Because I haven't seen this building yet in Alpha... Oh no, I have. No, I haven't. I haven't seen this yet in Alpha 20, so this has to be a new PRI from Dual. Yeah, Dual's distribution. Okay, so inside there might be some really good loot, but for now... I'm trying to do as many quests as possible, because just now the trader rewards is actually like antibiotics or something. If I can get that... Oh, that's going to be so awesome. Just a reward of a proper antibiotic that's going to cure the infection completely. But we need to stack up on any kind of anti-radiation. Because just now I heal myself. And then as I heal myself, I get hit again and we have the infection again. So you need to make sure it doesn't matter how many times you get hit. You can always, always, always just heal yourself. Oh crap. Stamina, stamina, stamina. There you go. Again at 15% infection. Damn, we were like 23 or something. We went down to 10 and now we're back at this much. I love shooting through zombies like this. Wait, what? I just heard something. I think this POI is... Yeah, this, this is this mod's POI. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm trying to make sure that I don't do dumb stuff and just get myself killed. But every time I run out of stamina and try to hit a zombie, that's basically doing some dumb stuff. Oh, and I need to keep looking for aloe vera. I'm so focused on looking for wolves and making sure I don't die that I'm not picking up any aloe. If I can progress my classes, we'll be able to get some quests and some cash. And yeah, let me just quickly kill this one. I do not want her following me into this POI. And there's another one of those other guys. Experiment Z. These guys look creepy as hell. The way they move, the way they sound... You can actually hear they're bulky. Okay, stamina, stamina, stamina. You know what? That lady can come after us. Well, who is she? Another female stripper. Oh, she's... It looks like she's wearing a shirt, but if you look closely, it doesn't look like she's wearing a shirt. You naughty, naughty, naughty. Okay, come on. I don't want these guys to aggro. The unfortunate thing is zombies do aggro in this mod. And I'm not used to it because darkest fools they don't. Come on, come on, left click. Come on, there you go. You're gonna bleed out. Get my stamina back. Man, my stamina is so low. Oh, where's that drop? I need to go for that drop after this. This is my first War of the Walkers uh, drop, so it might actually give some awesome stuff. And also, apparently, this is the mod with the loot on pillars in the middle of nowhere, but I haven't come across any of those pillars yet. 
Uh, let's grab this. Need to make some space. I am starting to get encumbered over here, which is not good. Yeah, let's just use the steroids. I know it's going to take away from my water, guys, but for now, I really don't care about that. Okay. Yeah, uh... Hello? As long as I can move back. He walks like the big dude that usually wears, like, all brown clothing. When they have their bellies out like that and walk like that, then it's modeled after that dude. Oh, there's a ton of cobble and stuff over here, but we don't have the space and the time to always pick up resources. And I just have this feeling that later that's going to get me. Okay, what I can do now... I can always just jump down and stack back up if I need to, if I'm in a pinch. If I'm going to jump down, it might be dumb. Close this door. See, it was the best decision ever to buy this gun. We're going to get the 5k back easily. Because we keep getting resources. And at least it one-shots a uh, uh, spider zombie. And especially the spider zombies. We cannot afford to hit, let them hit us because they're going to break our legs. Oh, that was a cooking pot just now. Nice. Okay, but where or oh, where do people hide their honey and medicine and stuff? Near the bathrooms. Okay, so let's just first check the side. I think we have to go down for the final stash, so we'll do that now. But I want to make sure that we loot everything inside of PI. Wait, where's the bookcases? There's supposed to be bookcases in this room. Oh man, they took it out. That sucks. Okay, where does this lead to? I like the fact that it's like Darkest Falls where you just break the lock and you can actually then enter the bathroom. Less chance of a zombie being able to just come through as, as you break the door. But I think if your block damage gets high enough, it's going to auto break the door anyways. That leads outside, if I'm not mistaken. Bookcase. Almost past it. But yeah, there used to be like two bookcases over there, so it bothers me that this doesn't have a bookcase. Okay, make sure... I want to actually do this. Be able to use the knife or this one. I want to save ammo, so if I can, I want to swap to my knife. Okay, yeah, you guys come to me. As long as you're not feral, we should be fine. Oops. Nice. Does hit them both. Okay, yeah, like I said, guys, there's a ton of resources. Once again, I just don't have the time. Or the tools, really, to uh, do this. Do you know how much stamina I'm going to lose? Just trying to get all of this stuff. But I think later when we have an orgo or proper quality shovel, we'll definitely try and grab all the resources. For now, though, it's just going to mean my death. I thought the other door leads to outside, but I think it leads to this side. If I broke through that door, I would have gone into over here. Yeah, that's the door that I said leads to outside. It did not lead to the outside, John. Okay, make sure there's no zombies in here with us. It's gonna suck if you jump up and all of a sudden just get smacked. I'm actually hoping for a ton more of these secret stashes where everything's just unlocked. It's gonna be a pain if you have to break open another hardened chest. Although then, oh nice, this one's about to break. Um, the only thing you have to do then, if it has a hardened chest, is make a hole in the wall. Mark it, like with frames, and then just once again, mark it on the map as frames or chest. Okay, we have to go which way? Ooh, the loot drops in the middle of town. I'm so used to the this thing being a little bit higher. That's why I keep misclicking. Okay, so um, hopefully we come across a few new POIs because it's in the middle of the town. Okay, uh, can we get out of here somewhere? I don't like having to run through the whole place again, but now I'm wasting stamina breaking through a wall. Oh, we have another, uh, another one of these. Nice. Probably make sure we drink and eat as much as we can to make some space over here. There's also a stamina regen just like the other drink I have on top. Nice. <laughs> this just leads to the front room and I think I don't think the doors are unlocked anyways. Let me just see. Oh, please, 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 please. Aww. 
Okay, if I could quickly get to that side, we might be able to jump out easier. Let's just jump to here. Yeah. Yeah, this is the garage of here, right? Boom. Okay, so we're out. It says return to trader, so we have cleared the quest. I hate it when I accidentally think that I've cleared a quest. And then, you know, say for example, it's a fetch and clear. I clear the place out. I run away. Oh no, it was clear as well. You failed the quest. As I think I'm going to call it an episode here. Yeah. If you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments and tips of feedback. What do you guys think about the mod progress so far? Leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.